because of what he did. That's why we're saved, not because of our good deeds. But there are many people trying to earn salvation, trying to get God to love them, not realizing that he already does. He brought you into this world, not by accident, because he loves you. And the reason you're here today is because he wants you to meet Jesus. He wants you to get closer to Christ. People are confused about their salvation. People are confused about what happens when you die. Many people believe that you die and you go right to heaven after you die. But the Bible says something much better. It says instead you sleep. Unconscious state. Listen to me very carefully. Jesus is so powerful. He can turn something evil like death into just a nap. Magalilo, do you like taking naps? Chief, do you like taking naps? Taking a nap? Sure, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I loved a lot. You know, when I was younger, I didn't want to take naps. I wanted to run all the time. But now I'm like, oh, I need naps. How many adults understand this? Yeah. Jesus is so powerful that he turned death into nothing but a nap until the resurrection. Amen. Some of you here today are grieving because you've lost someone that you love who slept in the grave. Well, let me tell you something. The resurrection is coming. Praise God, because of Jesus, you see them again. You know, it's not only humans that suffer from sin, right? Animals, creation does too. All of creation groans, the Bible says. In fact, um, I, I have large dogs. I, I love German shepherds, so I have lots of German shepherds. I have three, three and I have two. And we also have a little dachshund, a little tiny dog, and one of our German Shepherds died, and I was walking out back with my little tiny dachshund. He was just walking around with me in the backyard, and we came over to the dead German Shepherd's uh, doghouse. And I got my wife to help me, and we started picking up the doghouse. We didn't need it anymore, so we were going to get rid of it. So we actually picked it up and started to carry it away. My little dog began to cry like I've never heard him cry before. It was like it clicked in his mind that Sheba, which was our dog's name, was never coming home. Do you know Ellen White says that animals love and feel intensely? In fact, she says some animals actually love more than human beings. All of creation is groaning, but I'm here to tell you that Jesus is going to make all things right. Amen? Amen? People are confused about sexuality. Am I right? Yes. People are confused about gender. And yet the Bible is so clear about this in Genesis chapter 1, 27 and 28. It says he made them male and female. I mean, the reason we're confused today, the reason we're part of Babylon today, oftentimes, is because we're not reading the Bible. The Bible clarifies things. And then what does God do in those very same verses? He says to Adam and Eve in the context of marriage, He says, be fruitful and multiply. Right there in two verses, He clears up confusion on gender and sexuality right there. He made them male, and he made them female, and in the context of marriage, he says, be fruitful and multiply. Come on. You don't need to be confused. This world is confusing us, but the more we get into the Word of God, the more clarity we get. Maybe instead of listening to Hollywood, as one preacher said, we should be listening to the Holy Word. 